What's up goodies? Welcome back to your girl channel and to my kitchen how to cook. And at your request, I'm making my vegan banana bread recipe in the kitchen. Fast, easy and simple. Make sure you subscribe goody if you have not. And turn on your post notifications so you won't miss any other uploads. And for all I'm returning goody on a don't know some love or And you ready for cook? Come on, let's cook. four bananas here and you want to make sure that your banana is like really really ripe guys it is so important to have really ripe bananas because you want the thing to be sweet it's going to generate a lot of flavor when the banana is really sweet don't get timid about your bananas looking like this that is how you want your bananas to be if you pull, use bananas that is just yellow looking it is not going to generate all that sweet and all that flavor that your banana bread and the moisture it generates a lot of moisture for your bread to come out perfect so you want the bananas to look exactly like this and i'm going to use four bananas i'm going to use two cups of banana flour i'm also going to be adding a cup of granulated sugar I have a half a cup of applesauce and that is going to be substituting for the eggs that I'm not going to be putting into this recipe. I also have three tablespoons of vegan butter, half a cup of almond milk, and I have a tablespoon of cinnamon powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And that is all that I'm going to be putting in here. So come on and let's get started. Alright guys, we're moving on to our very first step. I have my four bananas here and you want to make sure that your bananas, once again, are very soft and very ripe so you'll get the flavor from your banana. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and add my sugar in there and that is one cup of granulated sugar. And you just want to mash this together. And you don't want to mash it too much because you don't want it to become too, it, the, the banana disappears. So you just want to have like little chunks of banana in it still. So when your banana looks pretty much like that, you want to go ahead and add your vegan butter in there and make sure that your butter is soft, guys. So okay, now that you have your banana and your butter and your sugar together, we're just going to go ahead and set this aside and move on to the next step. Okay guys, we're moving on to the next step. I have here two cups of banana flour, one tablespoon of cinnamon powder, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda. We just want to go ahead and mix this together and then we will move on to our next step. Okay guys, we're moving on to the next step. Now that I have my flour prepped, I'm going to go ahead and put my banana mixture in. I'm going to add a half a cup of applesauce a half a cup of almond milk and two tablespoons of vanilla you just want to combine everything until everything comes nice and smooth okay guys now that everything is nice and smooth I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna move on to the next step. We're gonna put this in a container. We're gonna pop this in the oven. Make sure your oven is on already at this stage. You wanna make sure your oven is on 350 degrees and this is gonna take between 45 minutes to an hour to bake. Okay, so we'll come back and get this ready to go okay, in the guys, oven. We, okay guys, we are moving on to our next step. I have my baking container here and all I'm going to do is get my coconut non-stick cooking spray if you don't have that you use vegetable oil or you could use the vegan butter just to base your container so that your bread does not stick and then you go ahead and pour your mixture in you just want to go ahead and give it a nice little shake just to get that ear pockets out of it. Say so that I'm not ear in between the thing when you, you cut it. So that's it. I'm gonna go ahead, pop it in my oven. And when I come back, I'm gonna have a perfectly baked banana bread, vegan banana bread on my table. See you back. Okay guys, so as you can see, my banana bread is done. All I'm gonna do here is go ahead and get some melted butter and put on top of it to soften up that crust on top 
and it's gonna be nice and mellow. Mm. If you ever smell my kitchen, my kitchen is all the way up. Nice and coated. All right, that thing is still hot. You wanna make sure when you're putting your butter on it, you wanna put it right on top of it as soon as you get it off the, out of the oven. And just let it sit for a few minutes. And it's the best when you even eat it the next day. All the flavors just go right, marinate right through that thing. All right, I'm gonna let this sit and cool. And when I come back, I'm gonna cut into my loaf and let you guys see what it looks like on the inside. So I will see you back in a few minutes. Okay guys, so now that my loaf is nice and cool, as you can see, I'm just gonna go ahead and slice into this goodness so you guys could see what that, see what that looks like on the inside. Okay, goodies. So as you can see, the banana bread come out nice and fabulous, nice and moist on the inside, and tastes delicious all upon the outside. Look at that, nice and fluffy. Now, be sure that you're spreading this good love with a friend. Tell a friend, man. For tell a friend, spread the love, goodie. Bring them, come and send them, come. I'm waiting. And when they get done doing all of that, tell me what I want to see me a cook next. And I'm kitchen. And remember, as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen. Enjoy.